Today on Crit Games, versatile dungeon stone walls that you can make for your table. The resizable walls, you can make buildings of any size. Just set up different corner pieces and different wall shapes, and you can put any size of building that you need on your table. Uh, quick and easy setup, uh, a lot of fun to do. Let me show you how I made them. We're gonna start by cutting up a number of bricks out of XPS foam. This is, this is the same type of foam that you would see in drywalls. I used a proxon cutter to put this together. Uh, they're about an inch long and half an inch wide. This T-shape actually has one of those longer bricks that you can see there uh, just to put all the different pieces together. And then I actually took the time to uh, stack them up and maybe uh, pick a few different ones uh, to put together. Um, you can see here I have all the different um, bricks that are laid out and I go through and I glue them down with a hot glue gun using a, a low uh, low wattage, uh, low temperature melt. You don't want to melt your foam as you're putting this together. Uh, but when you're putting together the bricks individually like this, this gives you a chance uh, to kind of check the fitting for some of them because you're in invariably going to get some longer, shorter uh, sizes. I actually deliberately cut these uh, a little bit imperfectly uh, so that some of those variations would show up. I thought that looked a little bit better uh, for the wall itself. And there you go. You have a nice uh, little corner wall put together. The next step of the process, uh, really you want to put some weathering on those uh, those bricks. So the tried and true way is actually using a rolled up uh, piece of foil and you just uh, texture all the different edges of it. Um, it. It's a little tricky for some of the uh, corner pieces, but if you have uh, a bit of the foam, you can get in there and make it all textured. These uh, have been painted black. I just used a um, Rust-Oleum black paint, something you find in the hardware store. Um, the whole complete project had about four corners, two S's, two T's, and with the extra bricks that I had, I actually put together one of the rubble pieces together. We're going to use uh, just some gray paint. This is a uh, cast off that I found at the local uh, Home Depot, and then go over just with a dry brush to kind of bring out the um, the the texture in the bricks themselves. And, and there really isn't anything kind of fancy on the dry brush job here. The whole idea was, you know, just give it some gray color and allow that uh, black to come through on some of the edges. And I, I went over pretty heavily with a brush because I really wanted these to be, you know, gray stone uh, bricks. Um, uh, but still, it's, you know, it's a general kind of dry, dry brush technique. You can see the detail on there that it, it pulls right out. This is a uh, Mod Podge. Um, it's a it's a glue and uh, actually has a, a finishing uh, sealer that's inside of it. I watered it down a little bit and just with a uh, sponge brush went through and um, for all the different sides of the walls uh, added a bit of Mod Podge for protection. This will help to make sure that uh, your paint doesn't uh, scrape off as you're playing and also helps protect the foam a bit. So when you have all the different pieces put together, you have a nice looking set of walls that you can move around and resize as needed. Uh, looks really great on the table and you know, it didn't take a lot of effort, a lot of time to put into it. Uh, but now I have this set of uh, stones that I can throw together, you know, one or more buildings. Just makes it really easy and fun uh, to play at the table and uh, very versatile. Here I put together just a little tavern scene with a bunch of bits and pieces and filled in some of the, the void spaces with doors, but you can see you can you can really make this at any size. If you leave some gaps in the walls, there's just a, you know, infers that the, the wall extends along that space and you actually don't need the wall there. Actually, it makes it a little bit easier to see, get to the pieces inside. So really hope you like this project. Um, if you want to see more of these, like or subscribe on YouTube. Let us know. You can contact us on Twitter at Crit Games LLC. Uh, maybe share some pictures of your own builds and let us know what you think. And as always, game on.